I've just got back from the post office uh, to go and pick this up because I wasn't in when it got delivered. But let's uh, tear it open and see what's inside. Oh, 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 a lovely bit of cardboard cladding. Let's keep that for later. Oh, what could it be? What could it be? What could it be? Oh, nice. I've got a t-shirt. What's it? No, oh, it's not going to fit. Right. So basically, I paid for the postage for this to come over here because um, they were kind enough to... Uh, send it out but basically what is in here so it's just a spring reverb tank but this is the thing it's a valve spring reverb tank kit that's right it's gonna have a, a valve preamp and like power up amp and all that stuff four tubes in total and um, a lovely chassis of all the parts Woo. so I'm gonna go and build it So I think I'm going to start by reading the instructions and I'm literally just going to bash it together because I have a feeling it's going to be uh, paid by numbers. The thing about all these valve projects is they're very spaced out and they're very simple with hardly any components. So they're actually quite easy to build. So um, let's put that into practice. So now the hardware's been put in, the next job is to put the spring reverb tank on top. I was thinking I might put it upside down, but that might be for later. I might do another modification, but I'm just going to follow the instructions and do it as it's supposed to for now. So I'm going to put it in the proper way. It says the next thing is all the wiring. So I'm going to be uh, doing some wiring now, but the actual instructions are pretty damn detailed. and. I don't feel I need to walk and talk through it and bore you with the details because it's all here. So if you're going to build this, you just follow it step by step. There's a heck of a lot to read through. So now the circuit's done. I've just double checked there's no mistakes and I don't think there is. So now it's time to kind of put the case on, finish what's on top and then turn it on and hope it doesn't pop. So here it is. I've quickly done some doodling on the front panel because it doesn't come labelled. To the point that I've actually labelled the knobs the wrong way round, so shh, don't tell anybody, I'll swap them over later, but shh, the audio goes in, gets valvified, goes to the spring reverb, and then gets valvified again. This isn't the most versatile of reverbs. If you wanted a versatile reverb, you would get like a, a pedal or a computer or something. This one is just a master of being good at playing valvey, spring reverby, distorted reverb stuff. To the point that you could go like this. Because it's got real spring in there. But anyway, so I'm going to put this through it first, which is a Prophet 600. Let's turn this on. Woo. And you can automatically hear the spring reverb because, hello, it's a spring reverb. And it's sort of saturated and kind of warmer and fuzzier than your normal kind of spring reverb because it's, you know, got valve preamps. Turn it off. And on. What's that nice dance song? I can't seem to remember what it's called. actually makes it quite bright with the distortion and the reverb to quite a soft sound. So for instance, you've got this. It's quite soft. You bring in the reverb and it kind of brings some overtones to it. Woo! I 
think one day I'm going to turn the spring reverb on itself so you can fiddle around with the springs. But for now, we're just going to look at it as its standard kind of unit form. But anyway, this is actually made for a guitar, and guitars have a much lower level when it goes into here. So synthesizers kind of hits the valve plates a little harder, which makes it a little bit more crunchy and warmer, and I don't really know, it just makes it sound a little bit more... So anyway, that was enough of the profit, let's try... Let's try something else. So here we have the Hammond DPM-48, which is a strange digital drum machine from the 1980s that is sort of macking on the legacy of the Lin drum and stuff. It's got some very cheesy drum sounds like the Agogo, which actually I kind of have a soft spot for. Oh yeah. But let's do the Agogo with the reverb on. Oh, that's cool. It's for some reason, all of the patterns, even though the tempo's really quick, are playing really slow. I don't actually know how to use it yet. But that really works with the reverb, because you can hear the tails, right? Well, that's a dreadful pattern. What about 44? Right, because it's actually playing really slowly, I'm gonna speed it up afterwards, so, uh... Anyway, I'm going to record all of the drum sounds from here, through here, for a sample pack later on, so let's just hit them. Tom. Tom. Now we're going to use Christian's 808 clone, which is a really good 808 clone. Let's go and try it out. Woo. Now it's time to bring in the reverb. There we go, that's the uh, 808 that's been kind of driven quite a lot beyond reverb, but you know, it's still reverb in the definition that this is a reverb machine. I'm just going to use the stock sounds from the DG20, which is the only guitar that I've got to hand. i tell a lie, but you know, this is, this is what the guitar is about. Let's turn it on. I was about to try and make this feedback with it, but then I realised there's not actually any plectrums, it's just a crappy 1980s MIDI, MIDI controller. Oopsie daisy! Time for a Brawl and Cure sine frequency oscillator. Let's turn it on first. Bring in the reverb.
Oh, so that was Mod the Wave. You can find this on the Mod website. And like I said, it's a pretty easy build if you follow the instructions. But they say it's a difficult build because obviously it's high voltage, it's quite dangerous, and there is a lot to do. It took me about maybe five hours to put together. So, um, yeah, if you're very careful with how you build it and you follow the instructions perfectly, there's no reason why you won't be able to build it simply. All of the audio that was recorded in this video, as well as loads of other things, I think we were recording for about 45 minutes, is available on my Patreon. So if you want to download that, you could do whatever you want with all of the sweeps and the drum sounds. So yeah, I've been looking at my no computer. Don't forget to subscribe and don't be scared to try it.